welcome back to my channel in today's video i will be sharing with you how to properly sanitize and disinfect your nail implements at home so let's get right into it so first of all what i like to do is let my water get a little bit warm and then i'll soak my implements in some warm water with some soap I let them soak for about 10 to 15 minutes before I start getting them washed. Okay, so since the water is nice and warm, I'll now go ahead with some soap and add my soiled implements to let them soak a little bit to soften up the debris so that when I try scrubbing them off or washing them, washing them away they will be easy to come off I'll let these soak for a couple of minutes and I'll be right back. Scrub them. But in the meantime, they're soaking. I'll go ahead with my barbicide solution. So let's see what this says. This is here. It's a violation of federal law to use this product in a manner inconsistent with, the, with its labeling. So, to make hospital disinfectant, mix two ounces of barbicide in 32 ounces of water. So, I would not be using the 32 ounces of water simply because I'm using a disinfectant tray and I don't think 32 ounces of water can actually be filled up in here. So, I'll use half the amount, which will be 16 ounces to one ounce of barbicide solution so i'll go get my measuring cups and i'll be right back so i was able to do my measurements off camera whereby i used two cups of cold water and two tablespoons of barbicide because two cups is equal to 16 ounces and one fluid ounce is equal to two tablespoons So what I'll do now, I'll go ahead and scrub my implements, especially in the areas that they're being used the most. So I'll scrub them up really good and then I'll be putting them into a clean container. So, so I'll be cutting this guy and make sure that I have 
So after I will wash my implements thoroughly, here I am giving them a quick little rinse before I submerge them into the barbicide solution. And before I submerge them into the solution, I will be making sure that they're fully dried because I do not want no cross cross contamination. So I'm giving them a little rinse and then I will be drying them off with a clean paper towel before I put them into the barbicide solution. So after I will have rinsed my implements from washing them, here I am trying to dry them off before I put them into the barbicide solution. So I'm trying to get off the water that's on them so that I do not cross contaminate anything if that's how it works I'm not sure yeah so I'm just gonna get the water off of them and then I'll be soaking them into the barbicide solution for 10 minutes I don't think all of these implements will be holding in that tray so what I'll do I'll definitely uh, be doing two sets of soaking so I'll be drying these off and I'll be right back with you so there you have it guys these implements are fully um, <laughs> paper towels dried I want to make sure that they're submerged fully into the solution for 10 minutes and making sure that they're fully covered so here I am putting them in there trying to make sure that everything So I'll let these guys soak for 10 minutes and then I'll take them out, rinse them off and properly package them into a clean container. So there you go, it's been 10 minutes. I'm not sure if you can hear my timer, but it's been 10 minutes. And I'm trying to put them in. So I will be taking these guys out and um, Rinse them off and let them try again before I put them away. Since I would not be dealing with any clients, or since I'm not dealing with clients, and this is at this is a at home video, I will be storing these in one of my containers that been disinfected as well. So that's just an example. I have the other one labeled. So, after I take these out, I'm going to give them a little rinse, put them away into the container, and that's about it. But just a little tip to share with you. When you're using the barbicide solution, it will be very good for you to read the instructions first before trying to go ahead. So once you read these instructions first, I advise you to read the instructions before even attempting to use the solution. So that's it guys. That's how I sanitize and disinfect my nail implements at home. I do hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe. And as to the products I use in this video, I will be listing them down in the description so you can find them there. Thank you so much for watching. And goodbye.